Magluluto po tayo ng bitter melon. Bitter melon, is it? <laughs> Ang palaya in Filipino. Okay? So, samahan niyo po ako. I'm gonna put you here in my tripod. And I want you to watch how I cook bitter melon. So, here we are in the kitchen. So, what are my ingredients? Courgette. I will put courgette, um, eggplant, um, jalapeno, and then the bitter melon, bitter melon, and what more? This one. I don't like. I don't like garlic. I don't like garlic. If you're gonna ask me why I don't like garlic, I don't like garlic. <laughs> it's just I don't like garlic. That's it. And we're going to put sardines. Okay. I don't know. I just don't like it. What's in the garlic that I don't like? I don't know. I just don't like garlic. Why? Because I don't like garlic. There you go. So we're going to cut the onion. I'm not a good cook, but I just want, I just want vegetable today. That's why I'm going to eat vegetable and rice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what? Shout out ko po kay ano, Engineer Pepe Kanapi. Um, he was my schoolmate before. And he's a businessman. Kung gusto niyo pong magpa-develop ng inyong mga, mga lands, going resorts and all, then you can... You can call Mr. or Engineer Pepe Kana people. Okay. Shapo an expert sa field land. He's a civil engineer. He was on, he was on my live a while ago. And thank you, Mr. Jose Kanapi, Engineer Kanapi, for bearing with me during my live show. It's not a show, but it's a live stream, I, I should say, in YouTube. And uh, I'm really very glad to have you in my in my white, sorry, in my live, live stream. What's happening? Yeah, I'm really happy that you joined my live stream. And we had a chat there. And I've known from him that Nap Sarmiento, may he rest in peace, is also a friend of ours and nobody has told me about it. Nobody informed me about what happened to Nap Sarmiento. I'm going to put some courgettes. And actually, we just had some talk before COVID came and everything was okay that time, if I'm not mistaken. That was winter time, winter time before COVID came. And I think that was the time when there was this, um, there was a meeting in Switzerland. The, what is that meeting again? World Trade, that's it. When the World Trade meeting was conducted, the last World Trade, that was conducted in Switzerland. We had a talk. I had a talk with him. And I guess he was so busy that time because the, the boss uh, went for the meeting and he was with him, something like that. 
and it was snowing very hard, very heavy. And I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have any talk with him after. And I just realized that he's already in the other life. So anyway, wherever you are not, you are in my prayer. May you rest in peace. And uh, yeah. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't know what happened to you. But life must go on, right? Life must go on. So for those who are just ignoring COVID, please don't. Because COVID is just around the corner. You must be very extra careful of your of yourself. You have to take care of yourself very well. So now let's do the saute. Okay. So we'll just have to pray for those who were victims of COVID and uh, you know. It's really like that. That is life. Okay, so we're going to turn on the, yeah, I'm not using electric, uh, what not, electric, electric cooker. Actually, I have my electric cooker. I have my induction cooker, but I'm not using it. And for practical reason oh that's oh there's a lot of oils in it or shall we shall we remove some later right so before we're going to do the sauteing, then as you can see here, my hair is exposed, so I have to put my hat. It's a cap, shower cap. What's the reason? This is our weapon against smell. <laughs> you know, when I was in college, honestly, I had a very nice hair. Honestly, that's what they're saying. That I had a shiny long hair before, black long hair. But of course, as time went by, now I have brown hair. Why? Because I am putting color to my hair because of the white hair. Well, everybody, everybody, um, everybody reached the time when your hair will be going gray, isn't it? Some have, has, some, they will have, some will have gray hair, some will not have any hair. It's a part of life when you grow older. You can't be teenager for your entire life. So, you will always reach a point, everybody reaches the point where you became, you, you will become an old person. That's the evolution of man, whether you like it or not. You cannot stop aging, can you? You can't. All right? So, we have to take care of our... Oh, shush. We have to take care of ourselves. Hey! That's it. That's the one that I do not like. Ah! The thing is... Anyway, honestly, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a good cook, okay, but I'm just trying. I'm trying. I am sauteing the vegetables. 
And after that, I will put sardines and put the salt. So I have here, um, I've, I've put the jalapeno together with the courgette and the eggplant. And I'm just stirring it. Stir or not, not stir, but I am mixing them together with the oil. I put a lot of oil on this I don't know if I can reduce the oil later. We can reduce the oil. That is a safe oil anyway, but well, you can you can put oil in your food, but shouldn't be too much. But I guess I put a lot in it. Can we reduce it? Yeah, we can remove the oil. Look, the oil, the oil is going down there. So maybe we can remove the oil. Or later, yeah? Later when all the vegetables are cooked. Is it? I don't know. So now I put the um, palaya. There. Ah, is this too much? That's it. I think that is three tablespoonfuls. Honestly, I'm not putting any condiments around because I don't know they get sticky. So I'm putting them in my in my room. I don't know, I just, I just notice it. You know, you can cook, you can cook the vegetable this way, but don't put the sauce in your plate if it's very oily. The oily sauce, you just have to get rid of it. Let's just, let's just make use of the oil for cooking at the moment. I love the courgette, honestly. Hey! Hey, see? One slice of, one slice of, uh, if you're not careful, that eggplant slice is not meant to be, so. <laughs> it's not meant to be in my casserole. Is it casserole or in my pan? There. So, I don't normally do this, but because I'm vlogging, then I have to do the stir, 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 or the mixing, but I don't really, I don't really do it. Look at my nails. I don't really cook, and I don't really do much of the household chores. If I do, then maybe you can see, you know, a different nail. But that's how it is. And honestly, my nails, I'm just doing them myself. You don't need to do... No, 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 no. Pushing for me is a no, 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 no. A triple no. Because you are making the nail um, top, top surface or the surface of your nail. The toppest. To become thin. That I'm not. I don't. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm doing? I just brush it, remove the the color with a nail polish remover. You brush it. Sometimes I don't even brush. It's a normal thing. And then I just paint it. Okay? Paint and then remove the paint and then paint again. I have a lot of colors because here if you buy a set of nail polish, it's very... It's very cheap, it's just like 1.5, 1 real and 500 baisa, which you cannot buy in the Philippines, I guess. I'm just guessing, because I've not been in the Philippines for a long time.
long time and I'm not buying it ever. I'm having my my holidays and bringing with me all my my stuff and I just do my nails there. And I'm in. That's why it's so quick for me to change my nails. I don't have any problem. Wow, my vegetable looks good. Right, so let's just wait for it to be, to be cooked. Um, the ampalaya or the bitter melon, most especially. And then we can uh, add, uh, what's this? We can add, I have to smell. There's a trace of cockroach. Hmm. Don't trust your smell. So what are you gonna do? Don't trust your smell, you just have to wash it because there could be trace of cockroach. Uh, cockroach, how do they call that one? Cockroach feet. And you don't like that. So you better wash it. Here I am I doing the washing. So now I can cover it in time. Yeah, I'm going to cover it in time and let's see what's gonna happen after. Okay, when it's already cooked, then we put the I did not put even a little little water. Maybe we oh yeah. See now I'm not really cooked, yeah. I forgot the sardines. <laughs> This sardine is very, this is uh, a Tunisian sardine, look, it's Arabic, it's Arabic. They gave it to me by my, by my colleagues. So I put, I just put that on top, okay, and cover it, let's see. There you go. So while waiting, what will I do? I'm going to wash the dishes. Okay. Washing dishes. I want it to go live because I can I can be more than 10 minutes. But it's okay. There. I'm washing the dishes here while waiting for the food to be cooked and then we'll have lunch. But I don't have mango anymore. Mango is my supposed to be my dessert okay. All this stuff. you know when you were when you are washing and you don't like any water to drip then you can do like this after after washing yeah after rinsing yeah rinsing like this then we're going to top it. One, two, three. One, two, three. And all the drips will go. So when you will put in your drainer, then there will be no much water coming or coming down. So you might be asking about my nail polish. The reason, the how do you call it? the technique. Technique to maintain your nail polish is make it very thick. Make it very thick. So when it's thick and you have like four layers, four layers of it, then it will not be chipping off very quickly. Look at that. This can last for if I'm very extra careful in the on holding something or whatnot, then it can last for one week. And I'm just going to change next week again. Right, let's stir. Oh, here is the sardines. Okay, we'll put this one. There you go. It's too oily. But 
I'm gonna remove the, the oil when it's cooked. I can tilt it, you know, tilt like this, yeah? You can tilt and let all the oil come down. But of course, the nutrients and all the sauce coming from the vegetable will go, but it doesn't matter. What matters is the oil to go away. <laughs> we have to remove the oil. Or you can put it in your fridge, and tomorrow you can just drain it. I know that the sauce will be very nice, but that's how it is. I think this is okay now. We don't need to cook it too much. Let's taste. Let's taste it again. Let's wash the, the spoon. I'm very suspicious when it comes to the fit or foot trays. The foot trays of, uh, of the cockroaches there. Let's see. Mm. something you think. That's okay. What happened? The sardines is different. I think there's something missing but I do not know what that is. There's something missing. Let's see if we're going to put seasoning. when we put some seasoning. Here you go. It's already cooked, by the way. What I don't like What I don't like is the smell. You know, the smell of the food and it goes to your goes to your shirt and it's a <laughs> it's a I don't like it I am the I don't like person what to do I think that's okay all right so the next thing we're gonna do is to eat hi so we are here now we're going to um, eat. So I'm gonna remove my hair cap. So hot. Can you see that base in there? Can you see those two there? Because my AC is dripping. My AC is dripping. I told the maintenance to come and check it, but to no avail. And also, I'm not using my TV much. Why? Because I am just in YouTube. All right, somebody has called me. I guess we're here now. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Hang on. Wow, we, we, wow, we, we. Thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. My son is already in the fourth year BS accountancy. Congratulations, Anako. Love, love, love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank God. You deserve it, Anako. Love you. Okay, that's my son. He said he's already in fourth year, so he passed all the tests and all. So, thank God he made it. Because 
he had a problem with the subject before, but he said, Mommy, I can do it, but I'm, I, I'm not just so sure what's happening. My cock. Sorry, my, my gloss. Okay, so I'm going to drink, wow, Sprite and cold water. So first off, we have to put our cold water here. This is so hot. I don't know what temperature it is. I think it's a 38, 38, but that is normal. That is even a low temperature for us. We reach as high as 47, honestly. Okay, so let's taste the food. So this is sardines with bitter melon and jalapeno and corget, eggplant. What else? Wow. This is like pinakbit. But pinakbit. Pinakbit in the version of Debbie. There you go. Look at it. Okay, I put them in two containers. There. You can see it. I'll put it down here. There. So I have, I just sauteed it with, I just sauteed it with, uh, gar not garlic, onion. And after sauteing the onion, after a few seconds, not even a minute, then I put the corget, eggplant, and jalapeno. And after that, stir, 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 when they are becoming a bit green, then I put the bitter melon and then they became green and then I put um you know when they are cooked the the skin of the bitter melon becomes green and then I put the the tuna on top and then I mixed it sorry I didn't mix I covered it and then after a few minutes, I stir or I mix them together when I cover it again. And when I notice that the bitter melon is already soft, which means it's already cooked, then yes. Um, how do you say it? I turned off the fire and that's it. Now I'm here. I'm eating. Ah, what's this? Ah. There's a bump there. I had my live a while ago. Mm. What is not nice when there's a lot of oil is you easily get how they call. Um, when, I, when there's a lot of oil in my food, it becomes too creamy, too tasty for me, and I don't like it. I want it bland. I love it. So nice. Mmm. I will call this Ginisang Ampalaya. So nice. Mm. Wow. All right, so I'm going to end from here.
because I'm going to talk to my son. He said he just passed it and he's now fourth year. So, Alhamdulillah. 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 Be with us, O Lord. Be with my son and my children, my daughter, and the whole family. My mom, my sister, and her family. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessing. Thank you. All right, so I, I'll end from here. Um, hang on. All the praises and glory to our God for all the blessings and all the accomplishments of our family. Thank you. Praise Him. All right. I'm signing off. See you in my next vlog. Bye for now.